Shroom Defenders? What the heck kind of game is this? Well, today we're going to about to find out. So let's check it out in... 3, 2, 1... All right, let's hit the play button. Let's find out what this Shroom Defender game is all about. Hops me right into the lobby here. We have portals. Let me see, look up. Oh, there's a, is that a giant mushroom up top there? We have portals, we have shops, we have fan art, and we have leaderboards. This game has gone under the radar. And let me tell you, it is a little bit fun to play if you're taking a break from some of your other games. You definitely need to try this out. And just like any game, you have to get used to layout, have to get used to kind of what's going on here. It is a tower defense game. So I am at level 7, approaching level 8, and let's look around here and kind of get the layout of the land, and then we'll hop in the game and see what's going on here. This game has spells in it, it has a skin, I think, and then here's the tower shop. Here's where you're going to do most of your buying here. So right now I have the spider, the wizard shroom, gem crab, I don't have the mirror, there's a blaze centipede I have, I have Shroomin, I have the Butterfly, I have the, I have the Plasma Generator. So the only two things I need are the Mirror and the Magic Ballista. Ballista. And what I really... Well, I'm going to save this for the game. But these are the only towers in the game. But they do their job. So in order to equip or unequip your towers, the ones that you have, you have to come to the shop here. There's no button on the side to do that. And you do gain money, or I believe in the game it's called Mana. You can see right over here. You do need to go to the tower shop to buy and equip or unequip your towers. I do have enough mana to buy the Magic Ballista, which is something you need in order to beat the hard modes. Are you sure you want to buy this tower card? Absolutely, yes. So I only need one more tower, and it's the mirror mirror on the wall. Not overly worried about it. I will get it eventually. When you start off the game, you only have three slots available to you, and I believe once you reach level 5, then an extra slot opens up, and then once you reach level 15, an additional slot opens up. So I'm really excited to eventually get to that level. Now, what are some of these buttons on the side here? There is the Robux, Robux, hello, Robux shop here that you can get for 350 Robux. I don't have that yet. And then if you click on the mana but, or I'm sorry, mana, these are shards, hello. So we have shards over here, and it's actually a pretty decent price, believe it or not, compared to some of the other Robux games, uh, or other games that require Robux. So if you have a little bit on the side here, then you can go ahead, the 250 shards for 1,900 Robux, that's actually the best deal out of all four, as would be expected. So if you want to skip the grind of the game, you can use your Robux to buy some of these towers. The little book here, the tower book, what I really like about it, it goes through and shows you all the different towers in the game. Now some of these, let me see, Ice Beast is not available anymore. From my knowledge, the Reaper was an event hero or event tower. I just got the Magic Belize. It tells you how much the original starting cost is. I like that. It also tells it to you down over here, but in case you don't have one of them, it does tell you what they are. The Plasma Generator is a support tower, so I really like that. And then the Spirit Huntress, I'm not at the level to get this, but I think you can get it. I just am not at that particular level. The Spider is what everyone starts off with, and I ended up buying the Wizard right after. So these two right here, you can pretty much beat any single easy mode from what I remember. I have since upgraded or bought more towers, and so I don't use these two specifically, but the Spider is definitely one of the towers you want to start off with in pretty much any of the maps. All right, we have our codes over here, in case you have a code. I think there is one, I used it a long time ago. It might be Huntress, if I'm not mistaken. So let me see here, H-U-N-T-R-E-S-S, -S. I believe I used this one already. Code does not exist, well, you know what, look in the description down below, I'll put that on here, or when I edit my video, I'll put the code up top here, if, if the codes are still around. I think there's only one, there's a settings button here, there's a question mark button, so if you have questions, then this fairy will help you out with that information. There's an inventory. I got the skin for one of my for my shroom and tower, and so this turns my mushroom into an ice shroom. So that's kind of cool. I used that one time, and then there's I'm not sure what the Cosmo Stone is. That's locked. I'm gonna have to find out what that does. So that's kind of what the skins does. And then this is a teleport button. Let me exit out of here. This is a teleport button to take you to the event. Now there's only one map on the event. And if you beat that, then you have a chance, or no, if you beat that, then you do 
have an opportunity to get another skin. So I'll do that in a little bit here. I think these are, and I don't even know, is this basic summon skin? I'm not sure what this does. I'm only one shard away from getting that. Maybe I'll test that out after this. And then there's a spell shop. The only spell I have is a poison spell right now. Free spell kind of speaks for itself. The heal spell, I think it unstuns your towers, or maybe it heals your castle. I don't know because I don't have it. And then there's a greed spell. I'm not overly sure what greed does. Maybe you put that over your towers and it gives you more money every time that they attack. So eventually that's, you know, these are items that I'm going to get, so I don't exactly know what there are or what they do at this particular time for sure. We're gonna go ahead and hop over to the portals here. Let's hop on in the game here and test this out. We teleported to the map voting screen, and we're just gonna go for the grasslands easy. We're gonna vote here, then we're gonna hit on the start. You could hit reroll as many times as you want to, so we just need to update this little button here. But we're gonna go ahead and start, so we're on grasslands, and then there's easy, medium, and hard mode. And I like how there's different bosses, but we're gonna just do easy for today. So we're gonna vote here, make sure that easy shows up, and then we're gonna go ahead and start. So where are the mushrooms coming out? Okay, they're coming out over here, and I wanna put down a caterpillar right away. Let's set him the strongest. There we go, and I can put down a spider, spider right here. There we go. And look at this, you can put your cursor over whatever enemy you want. It tells you the name, and it tells you how many health there is. One of the cool things is the evolution of these towers, or the progression of these towers. So look at this spider. It looks really cool. Look at the centipede. It looks even cool. And of course you can click on them and it tells you what their current stats are. So it has an attack of 1, attack speed of 1, range of 6, and no camouflage right now. I have set it the strongest. You can tell how much the upgrade is and how strong it is. But the caterpillar is really cool. It doesn't have a lot of range to it, but it does burn damage over time. And that's something that's really nice. And I can go ahead and we want to get that caterpillar upgraded because now it's cooldown speed is at 0.5, which means attacking twice per second. And so we have these fast mushrooms coming in here, and this burn damage is really going to take them out. I don't have enough just yet for a gem crab. Gem crab is really cool because that's the tower that gives you money. So we're going to get that down in just a moment here. We're going to have some more of these pink shrooms come out as well as the fast ones. Let's get to that 250. I don't have enough cash yet. I know, all right, there we go. So there's 500. We'll put the gem crab here, and I can actually do an upgrade. When the wave is counting down, you actually get money from the gem crab when the wave, when the countdown goes to zero. And that's important because you could put some more gem crabs down in between waves. Let's go ahead and level our spider up. You can see that it did evolve a little bit. It changed color from purple to red. And that's kind of nice. The caterpillar did upgrade as well. So here comes the heavy shrooms. They have a lot of health to them. My next upgrade is at 1,000, so I'm not quite there yet. But look at the burn damage that they're taking. No contest. <laughs> All right, let's upgrade. We now have a damage of 2, which essentially is doing 4 per second now. And it doesn't look like our centipede... Did it evolve? Maybe it has... I can't remember. Maybe it has those, those clippers on him now. But now he's just... Look at his burn damage. And then he's doing... I believe he's doing a little bit of AoE as well with the burn. And that's it. Just got smoked. Let's go ahead and upgrade to 500 here. There we go. So now we're going to get some more money. Watch this. And the gem crab is going to 250. I like it. How's our spider doing? Let's go ahead and upgrade our spider one time. I think our caterpillar is going to be able... Yeah, our caterpillar is carrying right now. I like that. So there's our wave money. There's our gem crab. There's 200 there. Next one's 500. I like to place down four gem crabs. There we go. 735. And I'll be able to finish them off over here. Good. And next upgrade is 200. Look, and then the the evolution or the progression of the gem crabs. We have the green ones that are, I think, tier two. We have, whoops, the green ones. Purple. Purple is the original. 200. There's 500. There we go. We need the 500 over here. But what I like is that once the wave, once all the enemies are done with a particular wave, then it progresses you on to the next wave. There's 35 waves. Oh, the Ento, Ento. Entolomite, that one is dangerous. Look at how much health it has. I probably should upgrade my... Should I upgrade my spider? Um, I think we're going to get there. So I do want to upgrade. We have 1,200 for the blue. 500. Oh, can we get them? Oh, oh, no, we didn't get them. So you can either let them run through or you can use a spell. 
there's my spell. It's going to cause him to burn, and then I get one mana point back at the beginning of every wave. So you don't have to overly worry about losing or using your mana points up. We have 1.9k, so we can do another 500, and the next upgrade is 2,000. But at least I have camouflage on right now with that tier 3 level. And look at all these heavy shrooms. That's a lot. But our centipede... Did I say caterpillar before? Our scorching flames beast centipede just completely annihilated them. Let's get an upgrade. Upgrade. There we go. Look at that gem crab. Looking prettier all the time. And I like that because it gives me more money. So these blue ones, they need 1,200. Oh no, there's two entomolites. That's not good. Let's see. Did I need a... Oh, I need 2,000 here. Oh, and then we still have some heavy shrooms. We might take some damage here. It's very possible. But let's see what our centipede does. Ooh, look at that damage he does. Well, that's gone. Yep, we're, we might take a little bit of damage, but let's go ahead and use one of our mana points for our spell. It does leak damage. Oh, no. We'll skip the wave. I don't know. We're, I think we're going to be just fine, even though I'm going to take some damage. 17 points of damage. Okay, that's all right. I probably shouldn't have upgraded as much. But upgrade 1,200. Now I get that 2.1. And now 2,000. There we go. So these are smoke shrooms. They have ghost on them. So that means that if you have any towers that don't have camouflage on them. See, my Scorching Beast Centipede doesn't have camo. He's not going to attack here. But my spider does. And so you always want to make sure you have some kind of early camouflage tower on your team. Because when those things come out, or... I know my centipede does have camouflage, but it's at the final wave, and that's going to take a little bit of time to get there. No, I don't want... I, let me see, I want a spider. Let's put this spider here. We'll go ahead and upgrade, or do I have the 2500? I do. That's going to... Let me upgrade my, my centipede here. And you can see $5,000 gives me that camo detection, increases the range a bit, and increases the damage to 6. So this Entomolite is going to be toast in just a moment here. Look at that. Didn't even make it through. I like that a lot. Let's upgrade our Spider a few times. Spider. Spider. Webbing Master. Okay, here comes some more Smoking Shrooms. These are the Ghosts. And they're going to be taken out relatively quick here because both of our Spiders have Camouflage on them. And I should, just to make things a little bit quicker, change this guy to Strongest. That way we're attacking multiple towers at the same time and taking them out a little bit quicker. Let me upgrade here. And do I get to that 5,000? Oh, I'm almost there. I want to get to 5,000 for that camo detection. I think we should be good to go here. Entomolites lights can be taken out relatively quick. And these unknown shrooms, they're toast. Look at this. Heavy shroom, you're gone. We have a smoke shroom, gone. Look at that. Pretty easy. There's the 5,000. Yes, camo detection. Look at the centipede now. He is not messing around. Oh, I better get away from him. He is, oh, he is not messing around. Look at him. He's gonna look at this. He's gonna annihilate everyone that gets in his way. He is angry. Fire! Look at it. Not even the ghost can take him. And he's gonna knock out this entomolite. Look at that damage that he's causing. <laughs> that bird damage. They're gone. I, that's awesome. Yes. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Let's go ahead and upgrade the 3500 here. And I should be able to upgrade as well. Um, should that, yeah. Let's do the webbing master. I, I do need that range, and I do need. Look at that entomolite gone. Smoking Shroom, you just got smoked. And look at the animation on here. While we're going through these waves, we have a little bit more to go. But I will tell you that most of the games that you play on Roblox, you have a development team. You have people that script, you have people that do the animations, you have the people that do the art, you have people that do the... Oh, look at these glowing shrooms. That's a lot of, that's a lot of damage, or a lot of health. You have, a, like I said, a whole team of people that do these games. Well, for this game, there's one person, which means that he wants the game to work, and he's always making adjustments and updates and trying to make things better, and he's very responsive. Not all games have those kind of owners or developers. So that's another one of the reasons that I really like this game, is that when you go to his Discord and let him know about anything, hey, can you help me out here, or what's the best towers for this map, or... Um, you know, maybe you found a bug somewhere. All games have bugs. I mean, this game has spiders and centipedes as insects, but bugs nonetheless. You know what I mean. The games kind of make mistakes here or there, and so they get fixed. And so he's very responsive to that. And like I said, I think this is a game that you should definitely give a try. 
and it's a, it's fun to play. Now, any game, it's going to take a little bit of time to grind to get started to get some of these better towers. But once you get them, I mean, you can see how well I'm doing right here. My my gem crabs, they're dark matter crystals now. They're giving me 1,000 every single wave, and I'm just kind of talking away here. Let's look. Let's put down a wizard. Wizards are really nice because they have a ton of range on them. And look at that wizard. That guy is super cool. Let's go ahead and change his target to strongest because he does attack relatively slow here. Let's upgrade. Just look at that range on him. That's super cool. I'm going to put another centipede, blaze centipede. We'll upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And we're going to wait for one more round to completely max him out. But he's going to stop most of these enemies that are coming out of the portal here. Look at this. He's good to go now. Max him out. I could put down some more gem crabs. That way I can get some more money. Maybe I'll do that. Let's put a couple more gem crabs down. These entomolites, they're toast. Oh, look, we have a necro shroom. This guy, when he stops, if we don't kill him right away, he will call or summon more enemies out of the tunnel. And we definitely don't want that. But we have the team to take him out, so I'm not overly worried. I think we're, we're in a really good spot right now. There we go. We have six gem crabs. We're getting 6,000 every single wave here. These demon shrooms are toast. Necro shroom is toast. Unknown shroom and heavy shroom. We are just in a really, really good spot. But the bosses, now, they do have a lot of health to them. And you do need to be careful. They are not to be messed with. Now, look at this. This is the toxic shroom. That has the most health out of any of the enemies up to this particular point in the game. So the toxic shroom... With the towers that I have, he was taken out relatively easy. Now we're in wave 27, coming up to wave 27. There we go. I have 12 of 16 towers placed, so I know I'm in a really good spot there. Let's put down another wizard. I really like the design of the wizards. I should slow down, that way you can see the progression of them. And strongest, there we go. I want to put another, I have three more slots, and these centipedes are just completely ripping these enemies apart. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, so no fangs. So no fangs on our centipede just yet. Look at that smoke. They're smoking him. Set him to strongest. So first upgrade. Faster flames. Scorching flames. Flame overcharge. And then a final upgrade. Camo. And look, these two are going to just completely take out almost anything that comes through that portal. Look, they just got rid of the toxic shroom. <laughs> look at that. That is crazy. Okay, I do want to show you the evolution or the progression of the wizard. I'm going to put him over here. We have a crystal shroom. No problem. And it stuns, but he's not he's, he's not out fast enough. I mean, these centipedes are just completely making them work. Okay, let's take a look. We'll go strongest. Now the wizard shroom. Let's take a look at this evolution or progression by progression. First upgrade. There we go. A little bit of change of colors. Second progression. Okay, better wand. You can see the stats here. Now we're black and white, and now he is just, look at this, 15, so he's doing 10 essentially per second, 10 damage per second. Has camouflage, but the range is absolutely amazing here. Look at these guys. They're they're completely covering. These entomolites don't stand a chance. The toxic shroom is toast. And remember, I have most of my towers set to strongest, so they're going to evenly distribute their attack. That's why you don't see these towers falling super quick, but you will see them fall relatively quick here. See the Entomolite? They're targeting, they're going back and forth, back and forth. So this Demon Shroom is going to take a little bit of time. They're focusing on this Toxic Shroom. Now his health is down, and so the rest of them are gone. Super quick like that. One of the other strategies that I use is that when we reach the final wave, once wave 35 pops up and I get my money, I sell my Gem Crabs and that way that gives me more slots in order to place down more wizards. And wizards, from what I have, are usually the way to go. I haven't played medium or hard just yet, but I think that Ballista that we saw earlier that I bought, I think that's what you're going to want to use for the medium and hard modes. I would say definitely the hard mode, because I think that is a weapon of essentially mass destruction. Now the Reaper Shroom is out. I'm going to go ahead and start selling my Gem Crabs so I can get some money from them. And I'm getting almost $3,000. Look at how much money I have right now. And I do need to put down some more wizards. There we go. Let's completely upgrade them. And it doesn't matter if I put them on first, last, or whatever. It doesn't matter because there's only one enemy that's out. Now, he might summon. I don't know for sure. I can't remember. But he might summon. Oh, he is. Look at He's summoning more enemies. And so that's why it's important to have these centipedes out in front. They're going to eliminate most of the enemies. Look at him. Toxic Shroom. He's going to be toast here. Let's go ahead and put another. I'm doing pretty good. 
I don't think they're gonna make it around. I have 40k left. Yeah, this this guy's toast. Look at this, completely toast. That actually was pretty easy. I did a pretty good job. If I don't say so myself, and he is gone. I have 200 shards for my money overall. My XP is 150, and I did 35 waves. And let's return to the lobby and wrap things up. Let me know what you think of this game. Like I said, I think it's a game you should definitely try out. It's something that is definitely... You have to grind a little bit here or there, but once you get going, once you get the spider and the wizard, then life becomes a little bit easier, and you're going to start upgrading. Oh, I did make it to level 8. Excellent. So I am level 8. Let's check out the leaderboards. Am I on the leaderboard? I am. Look at that. Level 8. I do have 20 wins now. I'm catching up to number 9. And I think I can do it. So if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.